The Great Giant. I will not be defeated, of course. Man, this enemy is hilarious. What's the best enemies? This is it, even though it's freaky. <laughs> but I thought you that I start, but I'm laughing before it even starts the episode, episode 3. Because, but I'm just like, I can't barely speak. It's just, I'm trying to not laugh too much. Uh, it's just weird, right? Um, I talked about last week how it's clearly a very like sadistic anime. You're like, oh man, this girl is crying in the woods and it's hilarious. Oh, look at this poor little girl. She's, oh, she fell down. <laughs> I mean, in one way, it feels, you know, I mean, obviously, it's an anime about Skade Gladia, as say in Swedish. Yeah, I always hated that because so often you hear this word, you know, Schorenfreund, right? Which means exactly it's called Gladia. Um, and it's so funny, I think, or funny, sorry, it's frustrating, honestly, to me, when I look at the Simpsons, really like, well, there is a German word for that. It's Schorenfreunden. You're like, yeah, it's also a Swedish word for that. But it, but it just sounds like only the Germans have a concept of Skade Gladia, even though. In Sweden, that's like the most popular kind of comedy. Honestly, because I mean, I, I know I speak German too, for that matter. You know, Deutsch. Yeah, my Deutsch is, I speak uh, <laughs> Deutsch. Coming, coming with my German. Yeah, yeah, coming here with my uh, my German suddenly. Uh, I do speak German uh, to some extent. No, I, I studied German for six, seven years. So I mean, my Deutsch is uh, it's it's pretty Deutsch. Yeah, my Deutsch is it's, it's decent. Okay, I can understand it. Uh, very well, I think. I can understand German. I mean, if someone else speaks German to me, right? Where well, I was the mood, I, I can say it perfectly. Uh, but I can't say maybe. Oh, I, I can read it, of course, as well. Yeah. So my German is pretty good. It's like definitely like uh, I can I can understand basically everything. Yeah. Um, but anyway, in Sweden, and I really mean it. Think about it, this anime. In Sweden, then, Skade Gladia, that's that is truly like the most popular comedy in Sweden, like the the and Freud of Swedish, yeah. So in Sweden, Skade Gladia is a huge concept because so much, I feel, sitcoms and so on, right, or Swedish comedy and stand-up comedians are so focused on Skade Gladia, and there's a saying in Swedish that's like Skade Gladia är den enda sanna Gladia, which means like you know, Skade yeah, like Skade Gladia then is the only true kind of uh, <laughs> happiness because. Um, Glädje means uh, happiness, right? Skada means, you know, skada, like pain, right? Damage. So it's like, uh, so it's direct translated in Swedish, it's like, you know, uh, yeah, it's like pain happiness or like damage happiness. Of course, referring to someone else having pain, right? Like, you know, yeah, yeah. And then the saying there, which is a very popular thing, very, very typical idiom in Swedish, is then, you know, like, uh, you know, skada glädje and sala glädjen, right? So glädje again. So it's like, because it's a similar word in Swedish, right? So basically, then, like uh, you know, damage happiness is the only true happiness. Yeah, <laughs> because and, 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 but it, but it truly is though, because Swedes, Swedes, right? They love to be very reserved and very like you know, oh, I can't complain about my neighbor and so on, right? So one very popular for example, TV show is Luxfellan, luxury trap, when you go and like help people that are favoring the economy, right? Because Swedes, the thing is that Sweden has this concept of you love hating on your neighbor. If your neighbor tries something else, right? so Sweden has a very horrible culture, I think, arguably in some sense, but especially that part where the jump the longest video is all about like pushing other people down there, trying to do something else, right? So if someone else buys something and then like fails, right? If someone invests into a company and that company fails, or you know, if, if like your friend opens a restaurant and the restaurant goes bankrupt, you're like, <laughs> yeah, you failed, yeah. That's very incredibly Swedish. You love seeing. Swedes, Sweden in culture loves seeing other people fail you. I mean, honestly, that's like that's like ninety percent of the culture of Sweden. They love that. And one thing I was joke about is that a Swede, the Swedish dream is to have like a house, right? Like three children, a hot wife, and stuff. A hot wife who, but the neighbor has to have a slightly hotter wife than you, slightly better kids, and a slightly better car, and so on. That's a, that's the ultimate dream because then you can constantly complain when your neighbor does stuff. Because if he's poorer than you and wife is ugly, yeah, you can't do it, right? Not to some extent. But if he's hotter, you his wife's hotter than one, yeah. So then if the hot wife falls down, right, your wife can be like, ha, look at that beam bush if it's like, ha, yeah, her big tits make her fall, <laughs> you know. Then you can, like, do that shit, right? So that's the Swedish dream, oh, seriously. Uh, but anyway, maybe that's why I love this anime then, right? Because I generally don't really like uh, Swedish culture, but I do love Skade Gladia. That's what the bad is. doesn't good shit, man. And uh, obviously, my mom and so on, she loves, you know, Shorty of Shorty. It's like her favorite thing, right? So, when I think about the anime, 
Great Yaya here. Yeah, it's truly like watching this demon girl constantly failing. You're like, ah, she failed, yeah. Like, it's, it's truly the, the ultimate Swedish comedy anime. You're like, ah, she's a super demon. And she failed, yeah. Like, it's, uh, but it's truly it's like that. Um, I mean, it works, right? I, th I think truly in that Swedish culture way, it really does work in this anime because if she was just a little girl, right, failing, it would, it, Swedes probably would like it, but it wouldn't be that funny because then she's kind of sad, right? But because she is this, like, you know, douchebag, of course, douchebag demon girl, uh, that even if she looks like adorable little Dora the Explorer kid, she actually is like, you know, a heinous war criminal kind of girl, you know, deep down, kind of, right? So that's why it really works, right? And honestly, in my IV episode, we read, my mom, sorry, mom, but this is true, my mom can definitely laugh at kids falling down and so if she doesn't like them, yeah. Like, seriously, my mom is like, oh, look at that, you know, like, slutty neighbor girl, ugh. Oh. She's dressing up, showing her up eyes. Oh, what a, what a woman, right? And she trips. It's like, <laughs> she deserves karma, bitch. Yeah. Then it's kind of like my mom. Like, my mom is like, you know, it's like a 14 year old. She's like, oh, yeah, she deserved that. That would be really karma. So that is truly very sweet. Like, you see some, you know, bimbo or whatever right there. Even if it's like a kid, a teenage girl, yeah. You're allowed to make fun of them. Like, sweets are like, yeah, she, yeah, she deserved it. And that's seriously. My, my mother definitely is probably. Told me uh, probably five times per day. Karma is uh, yeah. That's that's one of my mother's favorite lines. She's like, yeah, if you, <laughs> she loves making fun of people when they're failing as well, and especially then, I guess like a female thing. She loves making fun of other females, right? If they're trying to you know f be attractive and fail and so on. Yeah, whatever. Right? Dressing up, you know, in a or, or yeah, absolutely. Especially a teenage girl. She's like, oh look at those weirdo. Yeah, <laughs> she's like so. <laughs> so I think that the Yaya. It's the ultimate Skade Glady anime, definitely. Uh, my mom probably loved that, precisely. <laughs> because she would be like, ha ah, stupid demon girl, failing! <laughs> that would be... But, but honestly, like, it's like a Lux fell under, like, the actual trap about people buying stuff as the one failing, yeah. It is truly like an amazing, um, popular anime, right, in, in Sweden. Because, uh, sorry, anime, in TV show, I mean, because... It's about rich, no, no, it's about, it's about poor people or middle class, I guess. Middle class people, right? Buying stuff over there, you know, and they're failing in, in, in debt, right? And Swedes love that show, right? So much. I love it too because I end like money, but it's like in the Swedish culture, it's, people really love that because they're like, oh, look at the idiots. They bought this car and it broke down and they're their money. Oh, idiots. Yeah, like, you know, Swedes love that, right? Seeing people being, you know, wasteful and failing. And, oh, they bought this restaurant and then it failed. Oh, idiots. You know, like, yeah, like, that, that is like the, it's like the ultimate Swedish comedy. But anyway, let's watch the episode. But I was thinking about this week. I'm like, man, this anime is so evil. But yeah, I guess it works, right? So, but three, two, one, and go. Let's are watching it. But I'm just like, again, I'm thinking about the anime, right? And I'm like, yeah, it really works because She's like this douchebag, horrible girl, and you know it really is similar. And this, of course, is her masochistic uh, love interest, but it really makes sense, I think. When I think about it as a Swedish culture, way, right? Okay, that was me. Okay, but just a kiss of poor see. But this is why it works because she's like you stupid snake man. I'm gonna kill you, yeah. And that's why you can laugh at her failing. It's like a little girl. You can laugh at her being bullied and miserable, right? Because she deserves being bullied because she's a douchebag. So. Yeah, yeah, because she just killed this poor snake guy, right? And that's why we can laugh at her crying in forest, because she deserves it, because it's karma, right? Exactly, she's the strongest demon girl, yeah. Everyone feared her, and now she's a tiny little girl. Well, now she's back in being up though, I guess. So, but this is what I mean, right? This is what the anime kind of works. I've been thinking about it, you know, for a week now, right? Because last week was very, very sadistic, right? It was so horrible for her life, but... Yeah, it works because, like my, like, like my mom would say, right? Karma is a bitch, right? Yeah. Because she's just a mean character, at least she used to be just a mean demon woman. Uh, you can see her, you know, being attacked by a, a bird, right? F t dropping all her food and crying in the forest and the mud and being like, ah, save me! Yeah. And you know, laughing at her. So, yeah, you can see that happening and accept it as a comedy because you're like, well, she kind of deserves it, kind of. <laughs> yeah, even though she's been nice to people for the last, like, two, three weeks, but. She kind of is a you know a mean person in deep down, so you kind of you kind of yeah it kind of works like, um but it really is like that you know, you can you really accept it I think from that Scott the Gladia um, uh, perspective right there, and uh, but that's what I love with anime too I mean obviously I love Kurgas and I love the teasing anime like you know like a Tar and so on too right yeah but uh, yeah I think it works to me really well then probably in some cultural way though because 
I mean it seriously. I, I always get irritated at Schadenfreude because Schadenfreude, yeah, sure, Germans have it too, but in Sweden, again, it truly is the Swedish cultural comedy. In, in Sweden, it's like, because Sweden loves to hate the neighbor. That's the thing. Sweden loves to, you know, complain about the neighbor having a hotter wife or something. Yeah, that's just like the Swedish thing, right? So they love seeing people fail. It's a country that makes laugh, laughs people when they fail. Yeah, truly, it's a country of Scottish Gladiator, constantly. So of course the Swedes have a word for it because they're obsessed with it. <laughs> yeah, it makes sense. The Swedes have a word for it because they are so obsessed with doing it all the time. So it's, but it's like the Jantelagen. So it's constant that right there. This culture of Sweden to always make fun of people. Swedes are very much like think you're better than me. You know that's very Swedish right there. And the people think you're better than you and then they fail. Oh yeah, got a bigger game now. My, so my, this thing is just so annoying. So it's, I changed this thing and it falls out of it. Does it fit my ear? God damn it. I have more here, a bigger one. He shan! Yeah, she found it in the course. She's all happy, she's all smug, see? She's a smug woman now. Oh, big old pies again, though. I guess her oppas are bigger now, they're gonna stay bigger as long as they have that one. <laughs> I leave it at home, yeah, it's too big. No, but I need to have it for my oppas! Of course, otherwise, it drops right. There we go. Yeah, or she drops her up eyes, right? Yeah, she doesn't have less. I mean, she gets more tips, of course, the bigger up eyes are. <laughs> this. <laughs> arra, arra! Yeah, so cute little girl! But I mean, otherwise, obviously her her, her up eyes are gonna shrink, right? It's gonna. Otherwise, she's gonna lose her tips, right? I mean. Yeah. I think, but I think it makes sense that she doesn't wanna. Again, I mean, I mean, generally, right? She's gonna get more tips. With the bigger gem, because of course it's gonna, you know, her oppas are gonna stay in size, right? And it's gonna give her more tip, right? It makes perfect sense. Well, okay, it finds your pan, you get less tips, I suppose. But still, come on. It's like, she's gonna get more customers to you and I wanna squeeze, right? Because she's big, right? So. Yeah, wait a minute. But should you get more pay then? But should you get. But at least she could get more money, right? If she pays for more hours. It is kind of weird. I don't understand how she really pays her. It's kind of weird contract they're going here. Yeah, but does she get more money then? Does she get more salary? Yeah, sure though! Yeah, that's right! I am a hot uh, waitress now! You like that, right? <laughs> that's right! Look at my body now! Hey, I'm a lady now! None more! Oh yeah, can you clean your sinker? <laughs> stop! Oh god, stop it, Jaya! Stop being too pride! She's her, you know, pride is gonna make her fall here. Stop being too. Oh yeah, I can use my gem to freaking clean your uh, sinker. Yeah. <laughs> gonna use my dark matter to clean, yeah, perfect. But I guess she wants to prove how, how awesome her gem is, I suppose. But doesn't it come with a kind of curse or something? Yeah, if you're using her dark gem to eradicate, like, you know, tobacco smell or someone, will, what, they like, curse them or something? It does definitely feel like she could use her magical gem for more important stuff than cleaning, but... See, this is what I mean. Does she get more pay then? Because she's, like, using her magic... It is definitely not worth for her to spend her magical powers here to clean this. Yes, exactly. Say the demon word. Those poor demons, man. Well, they all... Actually, did they all die? The one of them, like the snake guys, did they die when the magic girl destroyed them? Did she like, or... Uh, I, I'm guessing the demons are actually in the earth, right? All of them, probably. If this survived. <laughs> Here we go, dropping a pantsu. No, cut them all! Yeah, dropping a pantsu. Yeah, used her game too much. Okay, so the size doesn't matter. Oh, see, this is what I mean. This is what sort of, you know, the skull of the glad, yeah. Yeah, she's all crying, you're like, ha 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 stupid demon girl is crying! Kawaii demon girl crying! <laughs> this is what I mean, and you're like, yeah, that's right, Scar the Gladiator, the ultimate Scar the Gladiator anime. Again, I really hate other people who use German word all the time, because no, no, the Germans, yeah, they like it, but they don't like us Swedes, right, they really love that. But anyway, so the game size, does that matter, maybe? Um... Because doesn't her tiny game last a lot longer? So, I mean, yeah, she didn't use it for cleaning and like the sink, but still. 
Oh, her masochistic slave lady. I mean, again, she could just ask her, right, to help her out, right? I don't know. <laughs> or demand it, I mean. Demand her to be your slave again, right, you know? How you doing? I got this huge gem, look at my... Look at my big gem, yeah! I only have... Oh, she's like, I only have 50 big gems. Sokka, Sokka! So you're gonna have 50 big gems, I'll be like, ha <laughs> I got this many. Yeah, it's so big. Yeah, size matters, ladies. <laughs> I'm getting praised, yeah! Oh yeah, I need a praise! Yes, we must have so much magic. Indeed! Yes, it was in the forest, in the wilderness. I had to be turned into a little door of the explorer girl. Yeah, <laughs> she's so goddamn smug now. This is my... Yeah, she really loves being like, I'm the best, I'm the best, see, she would be the most hated female ever in Sweden, she'd be like, you think you're better than me, yeah, she'd be breaking that jump the dog and constantly. The thing about, yeah, 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 it's like the worst Swedish lady ever, she would be the most hated people in Sweden ever. She's so incredibly smug and loves to, you know, people telling her she's better and so on, and love, show, show booting, yeah, like it's the worst thing ever in Sweden, right, so she's uh, obviously would be... Truly hate that it's weird. <laughs> yeah, this is not very impressive. I found it in hellish volcano or something. Can I lie, of course, right? Yes. It was in a dense forest in the middle of the and to fight this evil bird boss. Yes, it was uh, so many monsters there and enemies and uh, traps and... Uh... That, that's right. <laughs> it was that huge forest uh, that you talked about. Japani! Yeah, she's like, you're so amazing, Yaya Sama. Yeah, exactly. Monster's big boss bird. It's like a gigantic phoenix or something. But I defeated it. And I had to defeat this gigantic monster bird. And yeah, I did everything to get it right. <laughs> see, see? She's an incredible machist, that's... But that's of course why she loves her, because she's a sadist. She likes to, you know, punish her, she likes to take it, or she likes to get, you know... She likes to be, you know, beaten up by her master, right? So yeah, it makes sense that she's like... Yeah, yeah, Sama! Yeah, it makes sense, right? Of course. Yeah, it makes perfect sense. Yeah. Sadistically slaughtered a puppy, yeah, <laughs> it's like... Yes! Yeah, she really loves being, you know, she loves her sadistic side, right? That's her thing. She's clearly into, you know, uh, yeah. I mean, she's into it. She wants to be, you know, punished by her master, right? Yes. She saved it as a bird. <laughs> I will save you! <laughs> I decimated all those evil monster birds. She's like, I will save you, little birdie. <laughs> That's good, yeah. I saved the little bird. And she's getting an orgasm. Yeah, she's getting off, of course. Yeah, I, I would have been there to make it to record it, and you know, look at this. <laughs> yeah. I love this different reality in her her perception of the great Yaya. Yeah, great Yaya. She's like, oh yeah, you fought this like gigantic bird monsters and killed them all. She's like, yes. <laughs> yeah, she's satisfied. So let's go. She, I, I got my, I got my, I got my, you know. With my fangirl. That's what I needed, right? My fangirl, yeah. <laughs> there was more of them right there. I was like, what? No? Hey, what? No? I didn't say that. She's like, why, why, why do you think it's... Why, why, why? There wasn't more of them. Let's get some water there. Yeah, why can't she ever use the man that she pays for? I think she should be like, you pay, slave. You're my property. Pay for my food, right? That's how she. It's not like asking for help. It's like, you are my woman. You pay for it. You make my wife pay for it, right? You know? Um... Yes, you are the demon savior. You are a messiah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I am. It's going great. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I only have like 500,000 gems, so... I mean, Drew is gonna have like a million gems, right? He's like, oh, I only have these few gems. Yeah, 
Yeah, should I compare? Should I have like a huge collection of gems, right? This dark. Yeah, exactly. I only have a truckload a month. Yeah, <laughs> like Miles and Hub Roy is so competent. I mean, she's almost like a complete idiot. So I don't know how she managed to get some. Yeah, that doesn't make any sense. Oh yeah, it's a decoration, of course you are. But that I think is really anime. I mean, obviously Drew, the, the jokes that Drew is amazing at, right? That she's horrible at, but but I'm just wondering how is she doing it? Though? How is Drew doing? It? Drew is a complete asinine moron, right? So how is she able to get all the gems? How is she so rich in this world? How how does she manage to become this rich social elite, right? That doesn't make any sense. She's like competent, but also be a bit more. I, I don't know. I mean, it, it's completely comedy, but yeah. It, I just wonder if they're gonna explain how Drew is like the richest woman ever. Like how did how did it become that from? Because it's obviously a complete more. Oh, Demon Lord baby, the Demon Lord number one. What? Is this dragon? This is all the voice first. Oh, I can see his work here. Oh uh oh. I'm gonna be exposed. Yeah, it's gonna be exposed. His works here. <laughs> yeah, I used to rule over my slaves. <laughs> And now I'm some stupid. Wait, there's a big boobies! No! No, I'm some goddamn. Uh, yeah, some goddamn. Uh, the... Yes. It's a demon lore restaurant, yes. This, I own this place! <laughs> of course! This is my restaurant, here we go. It's a franchise. Exactly, I, I have a lot of restaurants. She's going there, she's doing the most of my yeah, demon. <laughs> yeah. I have already established my own food chain. <laughs> she changed anime here, definitely. She jumped into all the anime. Yeah, the lights keep going. But she's a demon lord, so she's gonna lie. She's a mean demon lord. You're so amazing, guys! Sam, I love you! <laughs> yes, exactly. I'm gonna take over the world by uh, franchising, yeah. I'm gonna become the new McDonald's anime, you know, yeah, I'm gonna do that shit, and I'm gonna, I don't know, make some other companies, some investment for hedge funding maybe, you know, I'm gonna, maybe make my own Amazon, yeah. Oh. Yeah, come back another day. Harara! Oh, are you a friend of Hishan? Hishan? Oh, she finally triggered. Or oh, maybe she's angry now. Yeah, she insulted your name! I will murder her! I mean, maybe she's rich because she's very powerful. Maybe she has all her many power left, I guess. I, I, may, I told her to call me Hishan. Ah, oh, Naruhodu! Naruhodu! Great strategy! Great guy, Asama, yes! I am he chance to slave, yeah. She's a server, she works for me, yeah, there we go. He chan Please pretend that I own it, please! <laughs> Lying is bad! <laughs> uh, well, I guess the is a million times stronger than Yaya right now, I guess. I was telling her to invite you. Oh, I see, yes! <laughs> well, yeah, she's incredibly stupid, but uh, maybe very powerful? <laughs> uh, yes, this is my place. <laughs> For allow she's like, yes, I own this place. I have a franchise. <laughs> yeah, I'm, 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 I'm a rich... Uh, Franchise restaurant owner, <laughs> like, certainly. I, I've been here for like a week, for like a month. In these three months, I have taken over uh, all food business in Japan. Yeah, <laughs> but she's definitely you know makes the lie bigger every time. Yeah, the lie is goes expansionally. Her lies just increases every second, right? Yeah. A bureau. <laughs> oh my gosh, she's gonna die from this. Well, she used to her throwing food in her face, right? So that's gonna solve this thing. What should be, what should be displeased by having, you know, she's not throwing the beer in her face, right? Well, how doesn't she? I mean, she's clearly into that machistic 
Yeah, she's like, do you want to throw the beer in my face? I mean, it's kind of her thing, she's like, oh. It feels kind of weird because wasn't she into her, like, punishing her with food? Like, slapping her with, like, the meat in her face, you know? Like, smacking it with that. It's, uh, yeah. Get some hot dog and be like, wasn't that her thing, right? It's all on me. Oh, I forgot to pick for a salary. Oh, no, yay. Oh, this is bad, man. This is bad, man. She's gonna pay for this? This is bad. Obviously, she's gonna have to pay for her for her salary. So this is a big, big. Oh yeah, this is um, this is obviously what's gonna happen here. That uh, the owner is gonna is gonna lose her salary for a week here. Yeah, she's gonna eat up her salary. That's obviously a very bad strategy. Um, yes, I wanna hear gratitude. I wanna have people to love me. I guess the Vanishes anime, yeah, is gonna be a very nice lady. So you you know, so you feel sorry, you can't feel sorry for her anymore. If she can't develop too much to be a nice little angel instead, but uh, now the owners will be like, you owe me, you know, 10,000 yen. Yeah, she's gonna be like, your, all your money is gone. She ate everything we had. Um, here we go, yeah, she's gonna pay for this, right? Exactly, here's the bill. <laughs> I mean, obviously. <laughs> yeah, you treated her with all your money. Three days of my money! <laughs> yeah. yeah, of course. But that was that was an obvious joke. That joke was very obvious. Like it's funny, but it was it was almost too obvious. Of course she's gonna have to pay for her. Yeah. She's gonna lose like a week's of month for that. That 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 was so obvious. Like what else is gonna happen, right? She's gonna eat up all her food and she's gonna have to yeah, pay for it. And she ate everything too. She ate like all the different foods for one. But I was like, I it's on me. Yeah, I was like I mean as soon as I knew she was like, it's on me. I was like, okay, yeah, she's gonna have to you know, lose like a Lot of money on that. Yeah, that's a lot of money. Could I eat three days of my own salary Monday? I have too high salary. It'd be very hard. <laughs> I'm too rich for that. <laughs> I was like, wait, no, I can't. I have way too much salary. <laughs> Not to be like, oh, so rich, but like, well, no, I make way too much money for that. <laughs> that I would probably die if I had eaten that food. No, I mean, obviously, I could go to a very expensive. I could go to a very expensive restaurant, I suppose. And I don't know about the time because it's obviously an after ending credits. Uh, it's obviously like two, two bits left. Uh, yeah, the ending is now, but it's clear it's in the after ending. But uh, I don't know how I was thinking that. I mean, I, I there's no way I could eat my. I eat a lot of food every day, of course. So that's, that's a fact, right? Yeah. But obviously, I would. Um, it would be very expensive to eat three days of my salary. For taxes, definitely. Holy shit, man. Be, oh my god. Uh, probably would die. Unless if I go to a very expensive restaurant, very expensive restaurant. But it's not usually to be to be here and brag. Um, no, I'm afraid to brag here. I'm just more thinking that her salary has to be very low. That's what I'm thinking. I mean, certainly she ate a lot of food, but still, her salary has to be very low. Yeah, she's like because it is hard, right, to eat. But I mean, I it's like a two-folded yolk, right? One thing that Duja eat that Duja eats a lot. She's like a big opine monster who eats and very, very rich. And she eats everything, certainly. But at the same time, it's also that Yaya's salary is so low, right? Yeah, that is to eat, you know, eating out for her is like one day's salary. Yeah. So it's like a yeah, double fold yoke, I would say, right? Both how poor she is and how badly they pay her, and also of course it's uh, but here we go, great, great spice pirate, but Kaisuku Yayi? Galaxy Space Pirate Ikashan, what? What's happening? Some other completely random scene. Demon Maddy. What is this? Yeah, pirate Yai out in the galactic Yai killing people every day, you know. Uh, I am. I don't know. I guess like a little joke spin off thing here. Yeah. Oh, Yai Sama, I love you! <laughs> yeah. I guess it's kind of the same thing as always. Yeah, she's like pirate. If she has her slave, she's like, I love you, please! Please punish me for loving you! Yeah. Oh, it's a landlady, probably her enemy. She might be either a pirate or a marine. I think the landlady is gonna be like a marine right there. Oh, it's a pirate, maybe? Planet dumpster. <laughs> Apartment. <laughs> yeah, you're gonna pay for your renting my spaceship. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna. Yeah, she owes her money for renting a spaceship, but of course she does. <laughs> she didn't pay for that spaceship. Makes sense. Yeah, it's properly owned by me. But I think that the lady should be more like some kind of, you know, marine or galactic police woman, you know, it would be... <laughs> I 
Yeah, okay, she's, she's avoiding paying rent for her spaceship. Yes, demon style omelette and rice, yes, yes. I was just ignoring her, but why don't you attack them then? Yeah, why don't you shoot at her? And doesn't she have like a better ship because she's a renter, right? So he's probably richer than her. We must warp her! <laughs> we must use our warp! Maybe she's an anti warp, I don't know. Or she's a voice by just going to the side there. Yeah, impressive steering. It's like some kind of actual ship in space. <laughs> you steer it, yeah. You don't press a button, you actually, you know, you. Yeah. But, you know, landlady, she's, she's pissed off, man. But how? You hit him yet? <laughs> what is it? Does not make any sense? You should hit her yet. There's no other people on her ship, man. There's no other crew members. It's her demon slaves. <laughs> she is cute, though, in her little uh, pirate outfit, yeah. Kurogal demon pirate girl. I mean, this is an amazing anime. It's a crossover that I needed. <laughs> now it's going to come to your space beams here. It's the throwing universe. I guess the uh, the man is coming, right? You know, her big sister. Yeah, yeah, she's the biggest ship. Of course she is. She's the man. Yeah, Unia-san. She has that bigger ship, right? Oh, no! It's man and girl Unia-san! Oh, she's a cop. She's a cop, then. Yeah, she's a cop. Of course, man and girl. She's the policewoman. Yeah, and she got the big op eyes and a bigger ship right there. Yeah, two big continues. I guess it's gonna be like an ongoing tiny... Uh, tiny bit here, how... Uh, and, but yeah, you know, Jaya being a nice lady again, right? Just trying to be this nice, friendly girl, right? But I mean... As I mentioned earlier, talking about Skull the Gladiator and so on, right? This is why the anime is funny, right? Even though she's... Uh, especially in a Swedish culture way, because... So in Sweden, you have this called Jante Lagen, right? It means like, you're supposed to stand out, don't think... Jante Lagen is like, don't think you're better than anyone else, you know what I mean? Yeah, don't think that you're better, don't think you're better than me, right? That's the whole idea of Swedish culture. And that's why Sweden loves, Swedes love to, you know, you know, make fun of people that are trying to, you know, be rich or that, right? And Jaya, of course, is truly that anti the logger. She's like, that's right, I'm the best, I took the bird. Yeah, she loves, she loves to brag and have all these, you know, absurd lies, right? To be like, I'm the strongest, I'm the best, my boobs are the biggest, you know, yeah, she loves to get it. She's like, oh, yes, praise me for being the strongest and prettiest and smartest lady ever. Yeah, she loves that shit, so that's why it's funny, right, seeing her fail. So, yeah, the anime truly incorporates the Swedish culture, I think, entirely, because... So again, right, it comes from a Sweden that Swedes hate, the Swedish culture hate these kind of people, right? You know, they think they are better, they're trying to lie, whatever, and they're trying to become rich, whatever, yeah, they hate them, right? And then when they fail, the Swedish, the, the very typical Irish Swedes, right, loves to make fun of them. That's the sort of thing that comes from. That woman that was trying to make her rich, she failed at it. She deserves to be laughed at, even if she's a kid, you know what I mean? It really is like that. So, uh... Yeah, this anime, I think that perfectly encapsulates why it's fun to laugh at her, because she's always trying to, you know, be like a boosting, you know, like, oh, I'm the best woman ever, I'm the hottest one, I'm the best, yeah, like, she's so constantly full of herself, right? that's why it's, that's why it makes sense to laugh at her, even though it's kind of sad and cruel, though, but this clearly is an underlying theme, though, that she's turning into a nicer girl, right, so I, that's gonna be weird in the anime, because eventually, you're gonna feel, yeah, I think so, though, eventually it's gonna be harder to laugh at her, because you're gonna feel sorry for her more. The nicer she gets, the more hot left, right? The more birds she saves and so on, right? The more people she helps, like, you know, feeling do you and so on, right? the more people she's nice to, it's gonna be harder to laugh at her, obviously, because it's gonna be like, well, she's a nice person now, so I can't laugh. Yeah, it's gonna be harder, definitely, though. Uh, but, anyways, see you guys soon with the Revenge 21. And yeah, tomorrow, One Piece and the new pirate anime, tomorrow after One Piece, yeah.